Shocking story, very close to home here at ITV, when weather presenter Ruth Dodsworth, ex-husband, was jailed in 2021 for coercive and controlling behaviour, something witnessed by their 20-year-old daughter, Grace. Presenting the weather on ITV for Wales and beyond, Ruth Dodsworth has brightened up our screens for over two decades. But for many of those years behind closed doors, she endured abusive and controlling behaviour at the hands of her ex-husband, sharing her story with us last year. I knew I had to get out. I, I you know, I, I think ultimately the decision was almost taken away from me because it was like, it was live or die. Today, Ruth returns to the show alongside her daughter, Grace, to open up about the financial control she suffered that left her with nothing. One in five adults have experienced financial or economic abuse in a relationship. And Ruth's message is, you're not alone. Well, Ruth and Grace are with us now. <laughs> Lovely to see you both. Thank you very Thank much you for, for coming, coming in. Us. And, yeah. uh, you know, I know, Ruth, that you have been through this story before and it can't always be easy to, to tell the story. Yeah. Um, and Grace, thank you very much for, for joining us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> no, I mean, the last time your mum was on, she, she told us, you know, how much your dad sort of controlled your life uh, in terms of who you spoke to, Ruth, um, yeah. who you saw, what kind of money you, you were spending or not spending. Just wondering from your point of view, Grace, as a child, what did you see? What were you aware of? I mean, as a child, because obviously I grew up with it, I wasn't really aware of anything. I thought it was normal. Like, this was my home life. I was like, oh, this yeah. is pretty much normal to me. Mm -hmm. um, I never saw my friends' parents' fights, and I was like, wow, you've got perfect parents. And I was like... Because I just... I know fighting's normal, but it was nothing out of the ordinary to me until like, the event of the night happened. Mm. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute, that's not right. Yeah. And that's when everything started to become more clear to me, cos, obviously, I just didn't know it was wrong. And... What was that event, actually, Grace? Cos I don't know. Mm. Uh, so the event of the night where it all went down, where he got arrested and everything... He, he was just up all night, causing a havoc, and he was just like, let me ring Mum, let me ring Ruth, and I was like... Mm -hmm. it's, no, I just... Me and Jack tried the entire night to keep phones away from him, keep our phones away from him. We had to hide our phones, tell him, Mum, it's OK, we're OK, but don't come home. It was... It, it was nothing that we've ever experienced before. Um, and he was in his normal state, and that's where we're like, this is all completely wrong. Are we wrong. afraid? Yeah. I wasn't necessarily afraid. You're so used to it, aren't you? In a yeah, way. it was just. I was so used yeah. to his behaviour, but this was tenfold. So oh. interesting, isn't it? What what children will see as yeah. normal, because mm. obviously that's what exactly. they're exposed to. Do you know what the thing is, though? I think as a mum, you know, we've all we've all got families, and you think that you've shielded your children, and mm. you think that you know if you keep your voice, they haven't heard or they haven't seen, yeah. and actually you we heard see everything. and saw everything. Yeah, but it yeah. was your normal, so you didn't realise that you know, exactly. mummy. You, you, mummy, locking us in the bathroom to keep away from him. Yeah. You didn't realise that it's that wasn't normal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's that's that was how you grew up. And that's how you grew up. Yeah. It's so difficult as a mum now, to, even just to, to listen to you saying this because, yeah. you know, parenting, as we know, is all about guilt, isn't it? And um, mm. I still live with the fact that I. I allowed you, in a way, to, to sort of grow up like that. No, but you didn't allow... It, you had no choice. It's isn't it? Yeah, yeah I had taken no choice. away from you. Yeah. And I think I commend both your bravery of what you're doing now, yeah. because there'll be people at home and it'll be ticking over their mind of, we're living like that yeah. now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think to talk like that, it's yeah. not easy. And I think, especially at Christmas, when everyone's oh. under pressure to think they have a perfect family yeah. life, yeah. it highlights... If, if stuff is unhealthy and dangerous at home, it highlights it at mm. Christmas, you well, know? Mm. Well, we lived what I call yeah. the, the, the Instagram. You know, if you, if you looked at social media... Yeah. You know, I mean, I work on the telly, and it looked fabulous, but it was... That's often Couldn't the case. have been further yeah. from the truth, you know? Mm. It was, you know, I'd, I'd go into work, put my... my I call it my telly face. Mm get through, and then I never knew what I was going home to. And, mm -hmm. and again, I, you know, I said, I live with the fact that I didn't get you out of that. But when you're in that sort of relationship and, you know, we yeah. were married, there was no way out. Were you aware no of almost living two lives, being yeah. two people? Sort but, of do you know, I think that's, that's quite common because, actually, that's survival, isn't it? You know, you, you put on this... I didn't want the outside world to know that, that what they thought was my life actually wasn't, you know. And, and there are so many things, you know, I didn't... 
it's, it's not shame or embarrassment, but I guess there was an element of being embarrassed about, you know, but that side of it. But also, you know, I don't. I was worried, you know, if people found out, would, would social services, would I lose my kids? Yeah. You know, and there are so many aspects that you, you know, you, and it's you misunderstood. Have to think of. Even yeah, the financial yeah. abuse. Yeah. Some people don't understand what that really means. And yes. You can be gaslit into Absolutely. your partner saying they're being frugal and that yeah. you're being reckless. Was, it, was he checking on your spending all the time? What he was doing was, um, my salary would go in each month, and he would withdraw it straight away. Mm. So I basically never had any access to my Did own he money. Give you an allowance. I had to ask. For money for everything, mm -hmm. it's so demoralizing. Mm -hmm. um, it is. How, yeah. how you, I mean, you're a very um, composed, you know, very clever girl. Yeah, how did you deal with that? You know, I... when, when you had to ask for money all the time and you're earning it, you That's know? A, it becomes your normal, and you learn not to ask because actually, if you say, Can I have my bank card? or you know, where's so and so, that then may well trigger and it usually did trigger an argument. So, to keep yourself safe and your kids safe, you mm -hmm. learn not to ask, yeah. you accept. You shrink um, yourself. Yeah, you do. You? Yeah. you do very much curl up into a ball. Also, Grace, from yeah. your point of view, I mean, we learn from our parents. I mean, my relationship with my partner is yeah. probably very similar to the relationship my mum and dad had, yeah. which, which thankfully was, was a pretty healthy one. Um, what have you picked up? Uh, well, I learned how to hide my money. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much every single yeah. pocket money that I earned, like little jobs I did, uh, it was, oh, Grace, can I borrow some of that? And it'd be yeah. OK, because I... Just didn't know. I just thought I'd get paid back and like he you know, little treats as well. He, he took, yeah. Yeah, he like had little treats that he'd give us. I'd be like, oh, there we are. That's fine then. But he had a, a gambling habit, um, okay. and so you know, an awful lot of our money just disappeared. And... Yeah. What about your Christmas presents? Christmas. Yeah, I had I had good Christmas presents. <laughs> I, I I had a good childhood from what I thought was normal, yeah. um, but it was a lot of stuff that went missing <laughs> conveniently. <laughs> We, we, we discovered after he was mm. first arrested, um, just bags. Because I, I wasn't allowed access to mail either. So um, we discovered bags of sort of receipts. He'd been taking your, you know, you had iPad and, and he was yeah. pawning them and literally pawning every last thing to get money to feed. Sort so of the, what, the gambling what, did he, what did he do behind your back in terms maybe of investment or spending or whatever? Well, I mean, to this day, my credit report is absolutely through the floor, my credit rating, because there were loans, cards... So you in debt taken now, out of my life. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And mm -hmm. I think this, this is the problem. It's all very well to say, well, look, he's, you know, he's, he's been to prison and he's done his time and, and case closed, in mm. a sense. But for people like me, it's, it's never over. No. And, you know, as, we all, as much as we all hate talking about money, it does make life an awful lot easier. And when you don't have access to money, very your stressful. outside world is gone, isn't it? And, mm. I mean, in, in a weird way, that was almost how he kept us... Mm -hmm. kept me in yeah. that relationship because I didn't have the meat. I couldn't have packed up the kids and gone to a hotel or, you know, I, no. I, without money, you're very, very restricted. But, it, but there's now... no... Uh, sorry to interrupt mm. you, but there, in law, you are responsible for all the debts yes. yep. while yep. you were married, even though yeah, easy. The, you did nothing yep. to incur those debts. The, 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 the banks and so on don't care that yeah. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. My signature for so is still on that bit of paper, it? you know? So at the end of the day... They want their money back, yeah. and, and no matter the proof, yeah, either. They, and, and actually, it doesn't matter. They, they, you know, that's what it's about. But for someone like myself, yeah. that means that moving on mm. is very, very, very difficult. Yeah. But you still have unfortunately, we are um, so, yeah. we are out of yeah. time, unfortunately. But I would really love you two to have the last word. I mean, what would you like to say to, to people listening? I think anybody who's going through what we've been through, I, I would just like you to sort of look at. Learn the signs. Look at us. Look at me and my, my daughter, who I am so, so proud of. And I did say I wouldn't say that because I'd probably make you cry and I'll probably make myself cry. <laughs> but, you know, there is life after domestic abuse. And it's take each day as it comes. It's not always easy. And, you know, the financial side of it. But I'm alive and well mm -hmm. and able to tell the tale. And if you or someone you know is watching this and thinking, that's me or, you know, then yeah. please just... just Ask for help. Speak yeah. up. It doesn't take a lot, even if it's just a sort of. I think something's going on, and, and you know, I might need help. But you, t everyone deserves a lovely life, don't they? Yeah. And, and we are living proof that you doesn't matter how awful your past has been. You're both an you're, you're entitled. Yeah. Really, you know, that's what we want. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you both. Um, if you have been affected by anything that Ruth or Grace have been speaking about, then you can head to our website, which is itv.com forward slash helplines to find out more.